you doing? I I am I am well. How are you? The final chemo is over. I would like to um like to say something very short. What? I'm gonna get a little toast and get it with a chicken here. Out. Um, I'm done with my chemo. I still I still have I'm I'm like ten days out from treatment, so I still feel a little cruddy. But it'll pass, and I don't have to do it again. The reason for the toast and a root beer. There's a thing called quinoa meals. And it sucks. And it takes different forms because quinoa affects everybody differently, right? So, like on my the first drug, everything tasted like I had tried to make tea with a bunch of nickels. Like everything tasted metallic. Yeah. Gross. This one. It kind of tastes like somebody took very, very moldy bread, scraped all the mold off, and forcibly rubbed it on all the soft tissue in my mouth. Yeah, it's much worse. Um, but I, I asked for advice online, cool. and it turns out that root beer cuts through that. I don't know why I'm not normally a person who drinks a lot of root beer, but I am now. Because I don't know if it's like the licorice flavor or what it is, but it can cut through and you can actually taste it hmm. and enjoy it. Um, so I'm gonna give myself a little chose with a little mini can of root beer. Sancha. I hope nobody ever needs to know that. Oh, okay. Well it's it's helpful and, and not something you wanna know. If you're, yeah. Right. If you're ever in chemo and just like struggling root beer will cut through it and sometimes it's long enough to make food taste normal for a few minutes well i've had i had my own health stuff this last week um i've been trying i've got this painful stupid nice. damn thing on my lip that's like above one of my nerves and whole rigmarole it's been three months so they finally got around to being able to take care of it american health here wonderful um and I'm paying out of pocket too, because it's considered cosmetic, even though it's really painful. Um, they had, I have to, to go in, they're taking a laser to it. Now, the laser itself doesn't hurt. It just feels like getting like popped with a with a rubber band real quick. So that's like eh. and even afterward, no real pain there. But the asterisk on the whole thing. There are some rules for being a peep. And if you break those rules, you're out. You don't get to play anymore. And one of those rules is don't be on fire. Generally, yeah. Yeah. I smell, I got a preview of me on fire because this smoke came out of my lip and I can't go anywhere. My nose is here. My There's no escaping it. I smelled me on fire. And it's not like, mmm, barbecue. No, it's not like that. It's like, you know how burning hair smells? Yeah. It's worse than burning hair. Because it's not like, you know, chipmunks roasting on an open fire. No, no, it's it's not, you know, it's, it's not your pulled pork slow cooked brisket. No, no, it's like <laughs> char kind of smell. It's horrible. I didn't need to know what I smelled like on fire. Now I do. That's in my head. Does, is that because the laser is literally burning it? Yeah, it's it. You, it's burning your flesh. It doesn't. It's not for a very long time, but a little teeny bit of your flesh gets like set on fire, and it goes whoosh, and that's becomes smoke. And I might have to do that two more times. All right, with that. We, it's not, this got, this week was kind of a little chill, but it's relative for us, obviously. But it was still a little bit chill. And yet, hey, there's some dumb, Nine. as always, get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, ready to get our audience about the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of political shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call... Um, now in America, 
one of the things we pride ourselves on, God knows why, is that anyone, just about anyone, unless you've been convicted of some heinous shit, you can run for office in America. Fuck, some of them can be convicted. Technically, we're finding out you could be in jail and hold office. So, really, the only stipulation state president are you have to be 35 and born here. So, like, you could be in jail. Yeah. Well, and we don't know what to do about that yet. Well, it feels like this candidate's trying to, to get the process, short circuit the process, get, speed it along. Um, town council candidate keeps standing naked in his front doorway. Uh, okay. A man running for town council on Long Island, New York, is losing support after photos show him standing naked on the front door of his home. Babylon's Republican committee told ABC7 yesterday, they're that not is so close to where I grew up, dude. That's like a town over from where I grew up. They say they're not going to support Kevin Sabella Sr. in his run. Witnesses say Sabella has been standing nude behind the screen of his front door for the past two months, just feet from his comp campaign sign. This picture, man, this fucking picture is, I got I to gotta get the bigger, get a bigger cop because this, this fucking picture is amazing. Like, holy shit, this guy. It's just, you know that 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 Twitter account, cats with threatening auras. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> townspeople are calling the action disturbing, and one said it was quote a control move. The Melda not return calls the media outlet asking if he would withdraw from the race. What the entire fuck, man? I mean, I guess transparency. <laughs> What? I am like, I am like so honest as a politician. Here's my dick. I mean, that that's okay, man. That that's cool. I'll trust you on that one. Yeah, we're good. Like, if your dick has to be involved with the business of of government, something's gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Like, and I, I, I know someone is in the YouTube's comments would be like, okay, but what if what if there was like. Uh, the fire or something and there was like you know the only way to get the fire extinguisher out was like a, a hole or something and you had to put your dick into it what then you want your dick in dead government then like, because this is the air yeah and y'all base maybe there's a sex tape he's trying to get ahead of <laughs> like just own it I guess here's my dick why are you just standing? That is just the creepiest shit. Even if you were fully clothed, just standing there, staring at everybody would be weird. Maybe it's like an emperor's new clothes thing. It's like an avant-garde political statement. Is his dick weird or something? Is he just like trying to get it out of the way? Just, just like, okay, yes. <laughs> My dick looks like a Smurf. I know. I'm aware. Let's just let's get it out there in the open and move on. I guess points for originality. Like even the Republicans but... are like, no, uh, we're not doing that. We're we're not. Yeah, he's we'll we, we'll pass. We will. Like, is he is he doing campaign events naked? Nope, just standing in front of his house, just in the morning, gets up. Okay, because if that was, like, his thing. You know, yeah, I could see, yeah. But, uh. But if he just, like, spends a couple hours every day doing this, well, that's, that's pretty weird. That is very weird. There used to be a guy. For, like, the first few years I did the show, I was living in the same condo, right? And there used to be a guy that lived at the end of the hall. And I swear he would just sit and look at his people and wait for me to go to either the laundry room or the elevator. Because he would always corner me there. And he, he, would, he really liked to just, like, while I was waiting for the elevator, just open the door and start talking to me in, like, a t-shirt and nothing else.
and it was like a high enough percentage of the time that like I really feel like he was just sitting by the door waiting and I don't know if it was just me or if he did this to everybody but he just liked to like make conversation with me with his dick out that's horrifying and sad that's like sorify it's just it's at both times equal parts I guess and I couldn't even get around it by taking the stairs because I had to walk past his apartment to get to the stairs. So, like, one way or the other, I was going to encounter this guy and it's stupid dick me you now. It was great. It's great just living as a woman. Well, next up, we have Florida. Flagler, for Florida. Not familiar with, but... Uh, I... We we don't have we had so many of these criminals who do a crime and then don't make plans for what to do next. You gotta do that. Like in this case, I understand he was kind of riffing it and and coming up with his own getaway plan. However, I actually copy the link here. Um, this ain't it, pal. Dumb criminal man tries to assemble stolen electric scooter in front of Target. Man in Florida was dubbed by a sheriff's office as the, quote, dumb criminal of the week. After he was caught trying to assemble a stolen electric Razor scooter in front of the Target he is accused of stealing it from. According to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, the man was witnessed walking past cashiers at out Target's front door without paying for the scooter, worth $539? Jesus Christ. This will say instead of fleeing the scene of the crime, the man stopped on the sidewalk in front of the store and started assembling the scooter. Finally, deputy caught the man before he could finish assembling it and gave him a ride to jail. Hold <laughs> Even if you are stealing a method of transportation, you're probably going to need a getaway car. Yeah. Quicker. Unless it's a car. Yeah. Uh, Because also, like, those, I don't think those come charged. Well, all of them. Even if you got it put together, it's not going to be charged. All lithium electric devices have to come with some charge on them or the battery won't. they, They have to have some charge on the battery. That's, yeah. Has to have a little bit of it, or it won't work right. The battery will suck the battery up. Okay. However, that being said, this is still incredibly stupid. What are you going to do? Like, yeah. Why are you sitting out there like, okay, time me? <laughs> it's a pony. Um. And, okay, now this, this guy is taking the piss here. He did this on purpose. According to officials, drugs were found in the man, of course. Later identified as... Patrick Vandermeyer Maiden Miller. You did that on purpose, dude. Come on. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> Fuck, man. Did that shit? You didn't. Patrick Vandermeyer Maiden Miller. Fan. What? He's a big fan of the show. And he really just wanted to be on the show. Vander Maiden Meyer Miller. Van, Vander Maiden Miller. Vander Ma- Patrick Vander Maiden Miller. His name is my name, too. What the fuck? Did you ever see Mr. Deeds? Yes. Long she ago. makes up the fake town she's from, and she's like, Winchester Tinfieldville. <laughs> and then Adam Sandler finds Winchester Tinfieldville. All right, the next... I would call the next story a cautionary tale. Um, very specific cautionary tale, however. And that cautionary tale is this. Don't fucking eat it, Sonic. New Mexico woman finds cocaine on Sonic hot dog. I literally had a hot dog from Sonic two days ago. <laughs> you see? You see? It's the odd place you can get a hot dog fast food. Espanola, New Mexico. Police in Espanola, New Mexico said on Thursday that a woman reported finding a bag of white powder in a hot dog she ordered at Sonic. 
the core doc fennel. But not like sprinkled on. Nope. That would have been that would have been a different experience. Yeah. Why has that like, like, maybe that's that, maybe that's why I felt fucked up at Target today because I ate that hot dog two days ago and I crashed. Why is my hot dog making my tongue numb? Numb tongue. Um, in a court document, officers wrote that Celine Gonzalez got the hot dog Tuesday at the Sonic on South Riverside and discovered the bag after taking a bite. Police claimed testing confirmed it contained a gram of cocaine. The report officer says Gonzalez spit out the bag and didn't say whether she ingested any of the drug. On Tuesday, uh, KOB4 crew saw that Sonic is still open. Police said a cook is responsible. They charged David Salazar with cocaine possession, which is a felony. Officers said they watched surveillance video from inside the Sonic and claimed that after making Gonzalez's food, Salazar looked like he was, quote, frantically searching for something that he lost. <laughs> and, and it's like a steak and cocaine isn't cheap. No, no, it is not. It's one of those. That's why meth exists, because cocaine is not cheap. Uh, like, how does Ford and cocaine work in that Sonic? Shadow Rush says, is there a secret menu to get a cocaine dog? Police said they admitted to them I it was his... they put in the corn dog batter. Yeah. Police say he admitted to them it was his cocaine and told them he bought it from someone in the Sonic parking lot. Who is slinging cocaine in the Sonic fucking parking lot? <laughs> Just one bag of cocaine being from the Sonic. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Like, just, why is it so fucking... Keep that shit in your locker. Yes, Grand Punk MC. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic has a parking lot. I thought it was a drive-in. Well, you have to park there yeah. to get the food. It's like a car hop. Yeah. Well, it's they, a car hop. They, I think they have a they don't have a drive through Yeah, you just have to park there. And Some wait. of them do now. Yeah. But you have to park, and they come oh. out on, on roller skates and shit. Or do they? Do they still do the roller skates? I, I don't think they still roller skate. Yeah. They, at the ones near me, they just walk. That seems like an like uh, insurance hazard, really. So my question is, like, it had to get under the hot dog somehow for her not to be able to see it. Between the hot dog and the bun, yeah. Or maybe under some, like, chili or some shit. I guess, yeah, standard, they serve their hot dog with, like, relish and stuff. Yeah. I usually get it without that. So I guess it could have gotten under the toppings. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you gotta watch your cocaine, sir. That's expensive. And you work at Sonic. You, yeah. That's what I try to understand. Are the, the, do they have, like a, like, a really good 401k or some shit? Yeah, like, I, you know, probably have a lot of disposable income. So that's like the, the worst impulse purchase you could ever make, getting a gram of cocaine Unless from the guy. Really, really are into free cherry limeade. It's the only good I reason to go. Like wealthy. The only good reason to go to Sonic is the drinks. Don't eat the food. And you want a hot dog, tell it. Go to Costco. But then I have to make it. <laughs> no, they have the, Costco has the $2 hot dog. Like forever, two dollars. True, and those are good ass yeah. hot dogs too. That's fucking true. And I have two dollars, right? It's like the, like the, the and I have to like get out of the car and I have to like get out of the car and interact with you. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's cut. It's a cut. And also, I'm gonna be in Costco, so then I'm gonna spend three hundred dollars because it's Costco. I I would dare. It, it, it's, I'll get me a cherry limeade, but that's as far as I go, man. My boy bummed. I really, really like the cherry limeade, but something in it gives me migraines. Every time I get one, I get a migraine, and I it's a fucking bummer because that stuff is good. Okay, next one is Moses Lake. Where's Columbia Basin News? Okay, 
Um, Missouri. Uh, I don't know how the fuck you, the fucking fuck. Oh, you idiot. Um, I love Fox before you get to the story. They, people do this all the time. If there is an error on their bank, and they'll assume like, well, it's mine now. No, it's not. That's that's not how that it's not finders keepers. Especially when it's forty thousand dollars. Um, local bank area come for you. Local bank customer spends what they thought was a forty thousand dollar bonus from work. It was a bank error. Local bank customer thought they were gonna get that happened to me. What you got forty thousand like, dollars from got... work? No, I got an extra two thousand dollars from a job I had left, and I fucking packed because I was like, "This company, it, it was it was a retail job at a major corporation," and I was like, "They will burn my lights down over this two thousand dollars." Like I panicked, and I called the store, and I quit like a month earlier, and they were like, "Oh no, you got a bonus because you were the top, like the second best seller in the district for the month," and I'm like. Okay, so I don't need a lawyer because <laughs> I, I will give it back. Well, yeah, I just, ha- getting the money put in your account, that's not the problem. Here's, in a blotter, public, a blotter statement published by Moses Lake, Moses Lake Police, Banner Bank called the cops on Tuesday over discrepancy about a mistaken deposit that was spent before it could be recouped. You spent $40,000 in a day? Police say the bank informed the hot dogs from Sonic <laughs> with the special topping. Police say the bank informed them <laughs> they accidentally deposited forty thousand dollars belonging to another client the wrong account. That client was reimbursed by the bank. However, the incorrect account holders spent the money, and now their account is overdrawn by around thirty five hundred dollars. Thirty five thousand dollars. Sorry. Uh the account holder was made aware of the mistake, and she told the bank she was under the impression she had received a bonus from work. What did you buy? In a day. Yeah, did you go buy a car? Man, if I got just out of fucking nowhere $40,000 popped into my bank account, number one, I'd be like, Jesus Christ, I'm in trouble. And number two, I'd be like, I ain't spending that. Even if it was my money. If they were like, here, have $40,000. I'd be like, I ain't spending this shit. This is That's like... your grandfather me panic. I am never, I am putting this somewhere I, that it's like, this is my break glass in case shit falls down money. I ain't fucking with this. 40000 Yeah. Like, okay, maybe I might, like, get tires. That's probably about it. I, I would do boring shit. I would get, like, tires for my car and some stuff for home repair. And, and That's I, how you know you're officially an adult. Yeah, I would get boring shit with it. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah. Yeah, man. So you're like, man. I could finally fix, I could finally finish the basement. Maybe. And you're like, who's, who was that? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll pay off my dental credit. What? What? No. Free. Like, what? Who, who said that? I ain't going to be like 40K pairs in my bank and be like, I'm buying a car. No, what the fuck? Well, I, I think this one is a first. I think. I'm not sure. This is from Oklahoma. We have had lots of people do incredibly stupid and illegal shit to get out of work. I don't understand it. The links they go to. This is a new one for that. I mean, it's the same genre, but someone is is taking taking it to the next level. They're they're innovating on the art floor. Gas station clerk asks friend to rob the store. So he can go home early. Gas station employee in Tulsa is accused of asking a friend to find someone to rob the store so he could go home early. The Tulsa Police Department. The investigation began when the uh, employee, Isaiah Jones, reported that a man walked into the store June 5th, handed him a note that read, Give me all your money or I will shoot you. Jones complied. Suspect left with cash. Investigators later identified Stephen Jones, a relation, as a suspect and arrested him on June 8th. Police said there is more to the story. 
Jones confessed to the robbery, but he said his friend Aaliyah Locke set up the crime because Isaiah asked her if someone could rob the store so he could leave early. Locke was arrested for an outstanding warrant and provided text messages that corroborated Stephen Jones' story. So now everyone is going down for this. But also, why would you think that would work? Because you're going to have to sit there and talk to the police, file or or you're not getting out early. It's like, you know, you're well, be there longer. Oh, yeah. If something happens to my roommate in college, I get all A's for this. No, that's not how that works. Oh, yeah. If they rob the store, they have to let me go home. Because, you know, they have to let. No, that's not how that works. No. You're going to have to talk to the police. You're going to have to talk to corporate. You're, you're going to be there longer. Yeah, people in Chandler are like, Chinese, you could just fucking quit. Like, yeah. If you quit, sure, you might not be able to make some bill payments. You might be in dire straits for a bit, but you won't be in jail. Yeah. See, now you're... It, Making yourself throw up. Like, you know what? Or, or just pretending to be sick. Not even, you don't know, even have to do that because I don't want to like encourage here, here's, dangerous behavior. But like, like, you could just go to work and get like, drink like a bunch of half and half, like two cartons of fucking half and half, and just hurl that stuff while you're at work on camera. And they'll be like, oh, you got to go. And that's that'll cost you let me what ten bucks for the half and half, and you're gone. That's it. You're you're free for the day. Now you can't do that more than once. You only get one time doing that because if you're constantly in there spewing out like crap, white crap from your mouth, they're gonna they're gonna eventually gonna be like, they're gonna think you're one of the robots from the aliens movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and you know, like just. And you, honestly, you don't even have to throw up. Just, like, tell them you don't feel well. And you think you're going to throw up and gag a couple times. Honestly, just seeing someone gag a couple times, most people are going to be like, whoa. Yeah. People don't like seeing other people throw up. No, they don't. <laughs> There's that whole bit in Stand By Me about it. Um, yeah. But, like, what? You honestly expected everyone... To keep their mouths shut. There's no Omerta at the fucking Circle K. There's no code of silence on this shit. They're going to sell your ass out. Like, the first person to cut the deal gets the lightest sentence is how that works. So they're going to sell out everybody else. Because it's a fucking felony. You dumb shits. Oh, yeah, Locke was arrested on an outstanding warrant, could also face charges of embezzlement. So she was already in trouble. Awesome. Well, our last one tonight is this. This keeps, this is another one that keeps happening, but this is this is definitely someone who should fucking know better. Like, there's, there's an element of, you stupid motherfuckers who come up with these harebrained ideas, but you're outside the system. So you don't know how shit works. I get that. It's still stupid. You're still an idiot. But this lady knew how this shit works. And yet she did it anyway. Yes, Grady, exactly. You want to come say hi? Grady had a little drunk moment this last week. We had to sedate him for some tests. And he came home. And we found out Grady... Grady is the, no, you need to lie down kind of drunk. He's that kind of, he's the, no, I'm fine. You need to lie down. Peggy's an angry drunk and the vet always wants to sedate her. And I'm like, dude, you're only going to make it worse. <laughs> she's, she's a little fuzzy Russell Crowe, man. She will fight <laughs> everyone. Like she'll fight everybody sober, but if you drug her, it is so much worse. All right. So. As to, you're sitting there going, well, what did she, what happened? What did she do? Well, flight attendant charged for bomb threat to stop her ex's vacation. Daniela Cabone, 47, 
allegedly threatened to blow up the plane to stop her ex-boyfriend's vacation to Miami with his new girlfriend. Tell the little captain that we put three bombs on the Miami flight, a distorted voice said in an audio message. Check the airplane because it's going to blow up in a thousand pieces. All right, first of all, how you phrase this, tell the little captain. And my the first thing that happens in my mind is like, talk to their dick? What? Because that, <laughs> that's where I, my brain goes. <clears throat> to There's the little town councilman. Yeah. <laughs> 270 passengers, along with the crew, were rushed off the uh, Ar Aerolinas Argentinas plane just minutes before the flight was set to take off from Buenos Aires. <clears throat> Bomb squads and emergency response teams hunted for the explosives, causing the airline to lose an estimated $1 million. The threatening message turned out to be a hoax, uh, called in by a jealous flight attendant who worked at the airline and wanted to stop her ex-boyfriend from flying to Miami with his new girlfriend. Look, I know it sucks to get dumped. I've been dumped many times. But you gotta just, you gotta just move on. Uh, Cavoni's currently in a five-year relationship with a male flight attendant. Pair off to work together. Pair bro got, broke up just a couple months prior to the bomb threat. And he began a new relationship. So she went, he wouldn't even cheat it on. Huh? Yeah. Fun, girl. He wasn't even cheating on her. He had moved on. Yeah. His ass moved on is what that was. Uh, That's embarrassing. His ex-boyfriend was working on the flight. His girlfriend was traveling as a passenger. The intended spent a few days in Miami. Authorities found evidence that uh, Carbone used her daughter's phone to send the bomb threat to the airplane. Your daughter, lady, you're going to hell. That's that is just, just eat a pint of Hagen Dazs and watch some Sandra Bullock movies like everybody else. And now, instead, you've made Christmas really fucking awkward. Yeah. Hey, mom. Here's what you can get me for Christmas. Um, not using my phone to commit a felony. It's real easy. You don't have to do shit. Really, really enjoyed the FBI raiding my room, Mom. The daughter expressed shock and anger. It's Argentina, so. Yeah. The daughter expressed shock and anger toward uh, her mother when she discovered her mom used the phone to commit the crime. The selfish one is you, that you could screw up my life over this bullshit, the daughter wrote. Uh, Carboni worked for uh, Aerolinas Argentina for 24 years. Wow. You, that is, you definitely fucking knew better. No dick is that good. <laughs> <laughs> no dick is that good. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I cannot imagine my mom doing this shit. No. That is so weird. Like, this is, I, I just, I, I, the fuck? Where do you, where do you even begin to unpack that with the therapist? Yeah, my mom used my phone to call it a, uh, a bomb threat because her boyfriend dumped her a few months ago and then moved on. Like you're right. every in every way, she was in the wrong. Every single yeah. possibly way. Like and she just kept one after another, kept taking steps. It wasn't even the road paved with good intentions. That fucking road was paved with like balls of shit. Yeah, you took the bad road to hell. Like, everybody else is on the good intentions road going, what the fuck is she doing? What is she doing it? We've got it. We've got a better road. If you really want to go there, we got, this one is less shit on it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
Oh yeah, ja, uh, J- uh, Jedi Eldritch in the kennel says, um, my question is, what garbage did she pull while they were dating? Yeah. And, and, and Sonic, did they break down? Sonic Gas says, key his car, smash a window, break his legs, but you directly went to this. Right. All right, Gap, I think maybe break his legs is a step too far, but yeah, key in the car, break in the window, sugar in the gas tank, shit like that. Those are misdemeanors. Yeah. Those those are... You can come back from that. Yeah, that's a community service and a fine. You don't come back from terrorism. No. They 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 tend to frown on that shit. Jesus Christ. Your kid's home. She won't mind. She'll understand. No, she won't. Because you have federal authorities kicking your fucking door down going, Bomb? 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 That's, that's... <laughs> Lady Bean Chow says, Carrie Underwoods before he cheats is not starting gun. Well, he didn't even cheat, is the thing. The dude, he, he, the dude did nothing wrong. He got a new girlfriend. That happened. That fucking happened. You move on. You just, he moved on. Do something beautiful. Right. Do something drastic to your hair. That's women tend to do that after a breakup. Mm. Just you know, do it, man. Yeah, the first thing we learned this week. I I don't. Even, you're wow. Just let it, it when it's gone. Let it go mm-hmm. because man, it's gone. No dick is that good. No dick is that good. There we because. Um, we've learned there's no code of silence at the Seven Eleven. They will rat your ass out for your. This was shenanigans. This wasn't even a scheme. This wasn't a plot. Yeah. This was shenanigans. Yeah. We've learned that if money mysteriously appears in your bank account, be afraid. Yeah, and make some calls very quickly. Yeah, you, your first response should be fear, not yeah. spending spree. We have learned that if you're fortunate enough to buy a gram of cocaine at the Sonic, put it in your fucking locker. Don't like hover over the hot dogs with it. And I guess check your hot dogs as though they were Halloween candy. (laughs) And I didn't think we had to worry about that, but here we are. Like, who's putting their drugs, like, they're expensive drugs. Who's putting that in the hot dogs? Well, mistakes yeah. happen. We've learned that if you have to assemble your means of escape on the spot, it's not a good means of escape. Great plan. So, like, like, oh, did you see, like, the, the guy, the, uh, the uh, Rubik's Cube champion beat, like, yeah. the world... Like, did it in three seconds. That's amazing. That's not you. You're not going to assemble yeah. the fucking thing. Yeah. And they don't go that fast, even if you could. And finally, we learned that if you're running for office, um, it's not a good viral campaign to loom at your front door with your dick out. No, but one- really... Almost never a reason you need to be doing that. Yeah, I mean, th- there's like, there is no situation. Dog, someone in the channel is going to go, but what if, but what if, right? But what if your house is on fire and you were naked and you were waiting for the, but you didn't want to leave because you had like your pets were still in there and you waited for the fire department. So you had to stand and watch for it. Well, if it's like a VR for the body snatchers, but the aliens don't understand clothes, so in order to like fit in, you have to be naked. Fine. Oh, fine. I hate y'all. We know. Hurry, motherfuckers. I hate y'all. 
Why did I pick the internet? Of all the fucking things, why did I pick the internet? I made a bad bet. It was there. It was there. <laughs>